all right guys welcome back to the algs channel hope you guys are all doing well and having a great day so far lots to dive into and discuss in today's video as a lot has taken place in the last couple of hours regarding sweet dreams and who he's been playing with in the pro league scrims last night as he did return and then also we've got to talk about elevate gaming as their new third really is locked in and they have looked so good in these scrims we got to talk about the scrim results and which teams are looking good and which teams didn't even get to play because of drama that unfolded last night as well like i said a lot to dive into and discuss in this one and even some topics that i haven't mentioned yet if you guys want to stay up to date all things apex legends esports related of course like the video and subscribe to the channel also i should be able to get rid of this reverb soon i'm going to be putting my sound, uh, sound foam pads back up and i got all my room painted so it should be able to do it today so hopefully this reverb that you hear should be gone pretty soon but without further ado let's go ahead and dive into it first thing i wanted to mention league of legends number one on the scrims last night these guys are the phase team basically it's phony it's zynu and it is Frex. And now we expect, obviously, Zynu has been playing with these guys a lot. They've done pretty good in the Boom TV tournament. They're doing good in scrims. I wouldn't be surprised, obviously, if this roster sticks it out. But another team that I'm just really shocked about and I'm really happy for, honestly, is Elevate, man. I really wanted Elevate to do good. I know they get a lot of hate. Zach gets a lot of hate. I really like Shuby. Shuby's been on the on the rise lately. And, of course, like Zapto getting poached whole conversation. Like, what's going on? I really thought, though, like, you know, why would you leave a Pro League team to go to a PSQ team, right? Just wouldn't make sense other than the money just but it's also crazy even with the money why would you leave a pro league spot but this team i've never in my life like you know even i thought if you would have added say like you know guild or something to this roster i just don't know if elevate was like sinking i didn't know that if they were just clicked in and I, I think that's a really important factor to consider in rosters it's not always about how good the player is because i think chaotic much is a good player but sometimes it's just simply about how dialed in and how synced you are and i think that these guys are really really dialed in and really seem to be clicking because not only is it once again another top three performance in psq which they've been top three like very consistently it's another top three performance again in the pro league results for them so really good on ea those guys have been grinding and i, I love to see it for them but also one to mention you know sentinels in fourth that's double time fourth you know they have fourth in pro league uh results for scrims here and then also for the boom tv tournament that recently happened then you also notice sweet and friends we're going to talk about who in the world sweet was playing with last night but you'll notice there's one team not here in the bottom normally it's the meat lovers well today they didn't actually sadly get to play or yesterday they did not get to play for whatever reason and we had this conversation to talk about on apexglobalseries.com by the way apexglobalseries.com will be getting an update hopefully today i think mobile we've already fixed we should be able to fix the desktop annoying ad placements pretty soon and uh hopefully that is all good from now on i've been reading the comments and uh i don't know what's going on with it but hopefully we get it fixed today so basically tech was not invited with the meat lovers to pl play in pro league scrims last night and there was a lot of reasons as to why he thought that was the case and of course he was very frustrated with it saying things you know this rule was decided maybe an hour before scrims what rules he talking about where basically he made up a rule apparently minus tempo you know tech saying that he made up a rule where the psq teams that have been doing good will get a chance to play in pro league scrims today and the teams that have been doing bad in pro league will not be able to play for whatever reason and of course he says that not a single person in pro league is in favor of this uh players asked to vote on the matter but tempo just basically ignored it and we'll talk about that vote pretty soon but uh you know tech obviously very frustrated and also you know saying some things on twitter about this and then minus tempo gets frustrated he comes back and talks about the dms that he was getting and all kind of people questioning his integrity and he says well my integrity is put into question again by players and all the weirdos in my dms who have probably never done anything in their life uh with or with their life because they can't handle the fact that they're underperforming and it's solely their own fault Paul that's disrespectful and basically goes on to talk about this as well but you've also got to mention just something like you know just kind of play devil's advocate here which by the way i've been getting flagged for whatever reason just trying to stay neutral anyways you know minus tempo also is the ceo and founder of oversight and oversight's the one hosting the scrims it's not necessarily tsm hosting the scrims so maybe you could say that there's no organizational bias but he is a manager for tsm you got to look out for that but then also tsm doesn't really need i mean even when meat lovers were there right they were getting smoked they were in dead last they weren't doing good and uh, you also had people saying that Tech was running Vantage and they were trolling. They shouldn't be there anyways. Then you also got to consider that TSM has been winning consistently with or without contests. It never really matters. I couldn't imagine that they really want to play that much favoritism uh, considering they've been successful with and without the contest. But uh, I do think that uh, being a pro league team and not being able to play in pro league is kind of wild. And so this is where the poll comes in, right? Minus Tempo begins to ask the fans what they think. And it was a lot of votes, 10,320 
25 votes saying the tsn or psq team continuously placing top five in pro league scrims and the pro league team continuously placing bottom five in pro league scrims should that pro league team always get priority over the psq team despite the performance and 69 percent people say yes even if meat lovers is going to sit in 20th place and get no kills and do nothing they should still get uh you know or even if they have a breakout day whatever it just doesn't matter they're a pro league team they should be having the they should have the priority for pro league no matter what and so that's the argument that he makes that's the argument that tech makes that's the argument that a lot of people in the comments made and of course this is where the frustrations begin to get out of hand i understand what they're both saying but at the end of the day like the, despite the sides the stories or the you know the, the facts that go into the it just doesn't matter you are a pro league team and there are pro league scrims going on i think you should always be eligible to play in those pro league scrims and uh you should always have priority in my opinion just just what i'm thinking but you know i'm trying not to get roasted here but for whatever reason neutral news is getting roasted lately on twitter anyways also wanted to mention brand new roster emerging out of the apac north region this is coming i don't even know how to pronounce this Kino Trophy. I don't freaking know, but I know where these guys are from. One Tappy Mia K, obviously, recently from Riddle Order. Then you've also got Four Rufa and also their coach. It, it translates to machine learning. I really don't know how to pronounce this guy's name, but he is also from Naked Esports. So Naked and Rufa, both, both of those guys coming from Naked. So you basically have Riddle Order and Naked merging together here for their new roster. Of course, Riddle should be putting, I think, already put their new roster together. We talked about that recently but you've got a lot of new rosters and honestly and a lot of new rivalries coming together for apac north which i think is really fun pulverex and fanatic and you know uh fc just well fc destroy basically in riddle order and then th these guys it's like they all swapped girlfriends or what that was weird but they all swap players right and so now they all share each other's similarities they all have a rival within one another i'm really ex i don't know why i said girlfriends there. it really just made no sense and i really don't want to add you know edits into this so i'm trying to just keep it going all at once also wanted to mention going with sweet and friends who in the world was playing with this roster last night sweet finally did return to algs scrims last night he was playing with some mysterious players and if you haven't seen this already here's what happened first off his first teammate handshakeage we did confirm that this was in fact uh going to be nathan now we did check the steam profiles basically and it was very, very clear cut it wasn't any hiding this at all however there was another identity and that was seven eight five seven eight six four three and that's the actual name he was playing right but we found out that this was more than likely none other than jen burton now the original user id was call me daddy and of course that didn't sound like coiful that didn't really maybe it could sound like zane i don't know but they've also had a high ping so that kind of made it seem more like not coiful right we also did a little bit of a deep dive into koifel's profile and noticed that he was completely afk as scrims were going on but would he really go through the headache of leaving one account in lobby and then making a new account to play with just didn't seem likely we did discover that this account was a level 200 account that was being played on this seven eight five seven eight four six three also the mutual friends had a common factor which we noticed as we did the research and jen burton was friends with both of the accounts that have been named in the past with this random number account really weird but then also pro player zapto confirmed that it seemed to actually be jen burton not only just saying that they had another alias that they used to be under but also that uh you know was telling one of his mods that it seemed to be confirmed as well roll the clip yeah they won like two thousand each yesterday in the fucking 50k tourney Bro, previous aliases, Jen Burton. <laughs> like, <laughs> 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 we really fucking think that like, we are fucking slick right now, like, bro. Previous aliases, Jen Burton. <laughs> hey. Like, bro, Burton, bro. Like, are we fucking for real right now? <laughs> I'm just shooting for Zap. You know, sweet, never trying fucking. So now we know Burton. there's like two or you three get... teams behind us. There might be like a zone three spot. Sweet, so Nate, Tim Burton. So obviously some very crazy stuff. I really think it's cool that Zapto's talking to chat while he's in the middle of scrims and they still do pretty good in scrims. That's pretty cool stuff. But you know, this is a very interesting concept. Now, what I had to mention, I know Reddit's going to be so mad and honestly, this just feels so good. And I don't even know if it's even going to happen. They might just be trialing right now. You know, who's, who knows what's going on months ago though, back in September, I said that sweet had a, or no, that Jin had a crush on sweet, right? I did say that. And at the time I had just heard that it was possible that Jin would want to play with 
it's sweet. And so that's just why I kept it a rumor. It wasn't that big of a deal. And of course, Reddit started to get mad. J Miles is, you know, impression farming, all of this stuff. And then these guys just doubted me, man. You know, you should have just listened. That's all I'm trying to say. Just let me have my moment, please. Anyways, so it seems likely that after all of this time and all of this, whatever I was baiting, Jin might actually be playing with Sweet at the end of the day, and Dark Zero did make a change. Zainu did leave, and looks like Jin could possibly leave. I don't know. Now, Dark Zero wasn't playing in the scrims last night, so it does make it very, uh, you know, believable as well. But interested to see what you guys have to say about all the topics down in the comment section below. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you want to stay up to date. All things Apex Legends esports related. You could also check out ApexGlobalSeries.com for all your Apex Legends esport updates in form of readable articles. And until the next time, we will see you all later, Gators.